Okay, folks, the next thing I want to show you here in our series of videos building our templates for our WAS is how to set up the colors in the color picker in the child theme. So in the previous video, we set up our template, our template theme, a coaching template, remember we called it. And what I want to do now is I want to change the default colors that show up in the customizer here. Instead of having to put in what's called the hexadecimal number, this unusual number that starts with the hash there is called a hexadecimal uh, number, a color value, okay? So anyway, instead of having to select a color each time, if we have our own default colors here in the customizer, it'll just speed up our building, our development so much more, okay? So it's actually, there's a tutorial how to do this that I'll put a link to on the Aster site. So we have to do a little bit of coding, but we're just copying and pasting stuff. And as long as we understand the theory, we're not actually going to be editing any PHP or HTML anything like that so i have set up my site in the previous video remember we've set up a child team called coaching one so we will have files for that site now in our root directory so i'll explain all this so just what we want to do is copy this function like that and i will I've already opened it up now. I'm on my local site, but this path would be if you're on a live server on Cloudways, Gridpane, whatever, it'll still be more or less the same. You will have a public folder there and you want to go to content and you want to go to themes and then all our themes are here and this is why i said that you want to give your folders descriptive names that are easily understood so instead of calling it something just weird like gl1 or something because you or anybody else won't have a clue what's in it and it'll be end up it'll be very frustrating later on down the road if anyone has to look at it so here we are coaching team one we have the functions php file here there won't be a whole lot in this and we want to open this i'm just using a you, you could use a text editor for this you don't need you don't see text edit is available there you don't even need a coding application to open this so what we're going to do then is add in that function that looks brilliant there so it does and we can see here that they have hexadecimal values there already okay so we want to change those to our hexadecimal number values so that we have our default colors showing up in the customizer so the next thing is where do we get these numbers these mysterious hexadecimal numbers so we want to go over i have given you guys a spreadsheet there's a thing there called it's a color combos an online tool so if you find a site that you like there's one here on team forest i'm looking at this uh, brussels life coach team we're going to replicate the header and some of the elements of this for the tutorials so copy the url of that or any other site you like put it into color combos and it will try its best to give you the hexadecimal values for the colors that it finds on the website so here we are we have three there it didn't pick them all up unfortunately to know but it normally works but just for the tutorial just to explain how this all works so i want to copy that hex one number there i'll go back to my code editor and I will put it in here. That's actually all the F's is white, the very first one. Just note, you wanna be very careful doing, doing this. Um, see the way the colors change there. I've actually deleted a little yoke there. And uh, like if there if there's any of these little characters, if, you, if, they, if it's not set up properly, it won't work. But in a code editor like Sublime Text, it'll actually change the color like it did there to actually warn you that it's not, uh, there's a character missing that's what's called the syntax is not correct. So we, here we go now, just very carefully do that, 5C something, is that right? It is, yeah. And 
there we go so i don't need the hash because the hash is already there it might be a bit, a bit quicker just to get rid of all the twos there and like that yeah it is so to make sure this is working actually i'm just going to delete these other values they had there like that so there we are we have three so far i'll just save this i'll close it there now and we will i'll just close the customizer and i refresh the page and go back to my customizer and hopefully this is working now i'll be able to show you yeah there it is folks absolutely perfect there's the three colors that we set up you can see there's a see the very last symbol is changing in the green so that's for the links there is a slight difference but you can see instantly folks how much this is going to speed up our development and you can actually do the exact same thing in beaver builder as well you can set the default colors so it's not if you're not comfortable editing the file of course you don't have to do this it's just a nice little thing to know about that will speed up your development you can just like uh, keep all your colors uh, in a document in a text document i do that as well or, or in a spreadsheet and just copy and paste them in each time but this this is obviously faster and you edit the functions php file in the child team so that's that folks okay i'll see you in the next video